Hi friends, we have studied the bottom relief feature of an ocean. Of the general idea we know that what we consist of a continental shelf, what does consist of a continental ridge, what is consist of a continental slope, rise etc. And then there are features of an abyssal plain such as mid oceanic ridge etc. Now in the next three lectures, starting with this lecture, we will study the bottom relief of each ocean. That is bottom relief of an Atlantic Ocean, bottom relief of a Pacific Ocean, bottom relief of an Indian Ocean. Also, I will do a little bit of Arctic Ocean because the Arctic Ocean is also in the news. Because now after many years Arctic has opened, so you will see the current affairs questions are generally based from the Arctic Ocean. What, what are you expected to study as a general studies student in the bottom relief of an ocean because obviously this is not a geography optional it is a general studies subject ge geography we are doing so here the question focus is generally on the preliminary examination or only on the preliminary examination in case if it asks, comes in the main examination then still you will be able to do it but the focus generally is on the preliminary examination how the focus generally is in the pre preliminary examination a question can come where in which ocean is the dolphin ridge or dolphin rise located now we are studying the bottom relief of an Atlantic, so you know the dolphin rise is located in the Atlantic Ocean. In which, <clears throat> what are the countries surrounding the Baltic Ocean region? What is the importance of a Grand Banks region? Where is the Challenger rise located? What is the shape of an Atlantic Ocean? So what I have drawn here in this diagram, this part is North America. This part is South America. This part is Africa. This part is the European part. The red color, the sorry, the blue color dotted areas which you can see running like this are the is the mid oceanic ridge. Now, what is mid oceanic ridge? Is it is an area which has risen, which has raised from the ocean surface. Therefore, not surprisingly, sometimes the mid oceanic ridges are also known as an rise. So, how is the Atlantic Ocean? As you can see here, the Atlantic Ocean is S shaped. How is the shape of an Atlantic Ocean? It is S shaped. Why S shaped? Because the North America is moving away from Eurasia, the South America is moving away from Africa. Why again S shaped? This part is faster than this part, so as a result this part has lagged behind in the moving. It has resulted due the movement of both the continents, that is American plates, that is includes North America and South American plates, away from African plate and Eurasian plate, has resulted into separation of those plates and upcoming of lava, magma, resulting into formation of an mid-oceanic ridge. Now, in the Atlantic Ocean, the best is is the best example of an mid-oceanic ridge, an S-shaped ridge showing the S shape of an ocean. The mid-oceanic ridge is divided onto two parts on the basis of on the basis of its on the basis of whether it is in the northern hemisphere or it is in the southern hemisphere. The mid-oceanic ridge in the northern hemisphere the mid oceanic ridge in the northern hemisphere is known as a dolphin rise then what is a dolphin rise again if the question comes where it is located north atlantic or south atlantic dolphin rise is located on the north atlantic region so the dolphin rise is the name of a mid oceanic ridge in the northern hemisphere yahan se the equator starts so the equator starts from this region this is 0 degree or equator While the name of a mid-oceanic ridge in the southern hemisphere is the Challenger Rise. So what is a Challenger Rise? It is a, where is it located? It is located in the southern Atlantic. Now let's see, study the northern Atlantic. In the northern Atlantic, the mid-oceanic ridge fans out or spreads out in different direction. Because of its spreading out, it is somewhere projected as a large plateau. What is a plateau? A flat table land. 
a flat land but having steep sides that is why we call it a table how is the table table is flat but having steep side so therefore it is known as plateau now why the telegraphic plateau because the initial telegraphic cables were laid from north america to europe the two most developed parts of the world and hence obviously the yahan pe the telegraphic cables were will be laid down from north to developed parts only not and the so not surprisingly the yahan pe these are where the two developed parts of the world which led which resulted into laying down of telegraphic cable and start of studying of oceanography why i say start because while laying down the telegraphic cables the people or the explorers came to know that ocean is having different features and therefore the best studied the first studied part of ocean was this now because of the spreading out it is known as an telegraphic plateau so what is a telegraphic plateau in the examination telegraphic plateau is the northern part of dolphin rise what is a dolphin rise a name of a mid atlantic ridge in the north northern hemisphere so an extension of dolphin rise is known as telegraphic plateau sometimes as i told you the height of this mountains the height of this ridge becomes so high that it gets projected it gets projected over the surface or on the surface of the oceans it comes out of the water surface and it gets projected as the greenland region and as iceland region as an iceland region so what are this greenland and iceland these are parts of mid atlantic ridge which have been projected above the surface of water so the parts of mid oceanic ridge which rise above the ocean surface are greenland and iceland now what is this mid oceanic ridge made up of what you know generally what is the oceanic crust made up of volcanic rock but which kind of a volcanic rock basalt or granite it is made up of basalt so the mid oceanic ridge is made up of basalt mid atlantic ridge obviously is made up of basalt and since iceland and greenland are the parts of or you can say a projection of mid atlantic ridge above the sea surface no doubt iceland and greenland are volcanic regions are volcanic plateaus or volcanic islands which will have basalt soil so this is all greenland or and iceland remember are basaltic plateaus a part of an mid oceanic ridge which rises above the sea floor so now if you come to the southern hemisphere we have the southern hemisphere has one more ridge now before i come to the southern hemisphere sorry a part of a mid oceanic ridge which goes through denmark strait what is a denmark strait or where is denmark strait what i am asking you is where is denmark strait where is this denmark strait region denmark strait is an area between greenland and iceland this is a denmark strait what is a strait strait is a narrow body of water connecting two larger water bodies connecting two larger water bodies so a narrow water body which connects the two larger water bodies is known as a strait so we have a denmark strait which is between the two regions between the ice greenland and iceland the name of a ridge in the denmark strait or the name of a mid atlantic ridge in between iceland and greenland if the question comes what is the name you have the answer is wiley thompson ridge wiley thompson ridge so this is how the north atlantic ridges are dolphin rise an extension or spread out of a dolphin rise as telegraphic plateau an extension of a mid atlantic ridge as an islands either as a greenland or iceland no doubt these are volcanic islands a part of a mid atlantic ridge between these two islands is known as a wiley thompson ridge now remember wiley thompson ridge is between these two europe and 
America also or between the Iceland and Greenland. Come to the southern hemisphere now. A part of a ridge which is in the southern hemisphere is known as a challenger rise. So don't get confused between the statement. For example, how the questions are, I will ask you. I will tell you an example. The question says, they will ask you a statement. They will give you a statement like this. Whether this statement is correct or incorrect. A name of a the first statement, the name of a mid-Atlantic ridge in the northern hemisphere is dolphin rise. Obviously, correct statement. Second statement, the name of a mid-Atlantic ridge or the challenger rise is the southern part of a mid-Atlantic ridge. Obviously, correct statement. What is the incorrect statement? The northern part of a mid-Atlantic ridge is known as a challenger rise. No. You know that. What is the northern part known as? Dolphin rise. The, what is the southern part known as? Challenger rise. Then you have a part of a mid-Atlantic ridge between Atlantic Ocean and Africa. It is known as a Walvis ridge. So what is a Walvis ridge? Walvis ridge is between Africa and is between the Africa and the mid-Atlantic ridge. Now you see Walvis ridge is also a connecting ridge in the southern hemisphere. Wiley-Thompson ridge is a connecting ridge in the northern hemisphere. So both starts with W, but here in the northern hemisphere there comes Thompson in between. Here there is no Thompson etc. It is directly W Walvis ridge. Remember use the shortcuts to know your questions. Now coming at the trenches. What are the important trenches in the Atlantic? I told you yesterday, the deepest part of an Atlantic. In the previous lecture we did, not yesterday's lecture, but in the previous lecture we did that the deepest part of the Atlantic Ocean is the Nares Trench or Puerto Rico Trench. So this is where this Puerto Rico Trench is located. In the middle part of an Atlantic. While the another important trench in the Atlantic Ocean is the South Sandwich Trench. In the at the southern America near the Argentina, at the tip of a southern America near the Falkland Islands. These islands are known as Falkland Islands. So these are the two important trenches. What are these important seas in the Atlantic Ocean? The important seas are Labrador Sea. So where is the Labrador Sea? Which is this country? In North America, upper part is Canada. So the Labrador Sea lies around the Labrador region of Canada. This region of Canada, the red shaded region is known as a Labrador region. It is known as a Labrador region. It is around the Labrador region of Canada. You see the groove or this kind of a shape in the northern America, in the Canada region is known as an Hudson Bay. So Hudson Bay is again a sea in the Canada region. So from north to south you have Hudson Bay, Labrador Sea and right in the here the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean Sea region. So if the question comes if you are going from north to south, how are the important seas from north initially Hudson Bay, then comes the Labrador Sea region, then comes the Gulf of Mexico, that is this part of USA, and last may the West Indies team, where Cuba is located, it is known as a Gulf of Mexico region. Obviously, this examination is asked you in the preliminary examination, so in detail we will see just three months before the preliminary examination, that is from the month of April, I will start updating the prelims special courses also. That is with focus because why not early now? Because the questions generally depend on the current area. So you should also focus in which area is in the news. We will focus on that area. I can discuss the questions more with you. I can solve the MCQs with you. And then you will be more confident. So some months before the examination. In that way your preparation also will be streamlined. And right now you are studying so it will be kind of a revision for you. So, these are the important seas, Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean Sea region. This is the, this is the Brazilian Sea, Brazilian Basin, this is the Argentinian Sea, not that important from the exam point of view. Now, if you see this black region here, I have shown this black region, this black shaded region. this region. What is this region? This region is known as a Grand Banks region. So what is this Grand Banks region? The Grand Banks region, you remember, is an area where the 
cold ocean currents from the northern hemisphere from the labrador region meets and from where the gulf stream from the southern hemisphere meets why gulf uh, sorry from the equatorial region means it is known as gulf of mexico so yahan ke ocean current ka naam hai gulf stream this is known as labrador sea region so yahan ke ocean current ka naam hai labrador sea as a result these two currents meet yahan pe you can see because of blue dotted region this is a wide continental shelf region the combination of two i have done in the previous lecture in the economic importance of continental shelf wider the continental shelf plus two ocean currents result into greatest fishing regions of the world and this is one of the richest fishing regions of the world so around newfoundland islands around newfoundland island the grand banks region is the one of the richest fishing regions of the world in usa and canada which side of the atlantic this is the question they ask eastern side of the atlantic or western side of the atlantic you remember it is in the northwestern side of an atlantic not on the eastern side of an atlantic also remember eastern side of a ocean means western side of a continent west eastern side of a continent means western side of an ocean so the grand banks region is located in the northern north western atlantic region near america near canada in the anglo in the in the us canadian region while the richer the fishing area in the north sea region yahan pe the important fishing area is the yahan pe also there is a very important fishing area surrounding this north sea region it is known as an dogger banks is known as an dogger banks remember grand banks in the north american region dogger banks in the europe near the european region in the north sea region ek tip if it helps you or not you remember yahan pe this area is a labrador region now the labrador is a dog but remember the dogger bank is not near the name of a dog means labrador ka region in the near the labrador region is the grand banks near the european region is the dogger banks region okay so this are the what are this dogger banks and the grand banks region these are the richest fishing areas of the world now come to the other seas in the in the african region in the this part that is on the eastern part of atlantic you know this is a mediterranean sea now you can see i have marked here 1 2 3 4 and 5 because there are numerous seas in this region how are this numerous seas in this region i will rub this before rubbing this again revise before rubbing this i will revise dolphin rise challenger rise a part of an dolphin rise telegraphic plateau a part of a north atlantic ridge is the extension on the surface as islands iceland and greenland greenland and iceland region these are volcanic islands in the southern hemisphere there is a challenger rise and there is a volvis rise the s shape is the shape of an atlantic ocean if the important seas in the west is east western part are hudson bay labrador sea grand banks region gulf of mexico region and the caribbean sea region important trenches puerto rico trench which is the deepest part of the atlantic ocean and the next is south sandwich trench now come to the european region come to the european region in the european region is the mediterranean sea region at the same time there is another region which is now what is this this is uk ireland region the entire continent of north america or of north western europe now let us see why i have drawn this because the questions are generally asked in this part now this are the importances iska the part this we have we have we can say we have increased or zoomed on this part 
this part i have zoomed it here obviously because the diagram may the diagram won't be exact replica of what is the exact but you can have a fair idea now this region is known as a north sea region this region is known as a north sea region so this entire region is known as a north sea region this entire region is known as a north sea which is the most important or which is the most imp, which is the most important fishing region in the north sea region it is the dogger bank region in the north sea area now after the north sea region you have the second part which you have see which which is there is is the baltic sea region this is the baltic sea region this is the baltic sea region that is the north sea region around this year this is the baltic sea region the extension of a baltic sea between the two countries of what are these two countries take out your atlas and check the map of europe between sweden this part is sweden and this part is finland is the is the gulf of bothnia is the gulf of bothnia gulf of bothnia so remember gulf of bothnia is a sea or a water body between sweden and finland it is an extension of what baltic sea region after the gulf of bothnia is the gulf of finland this part is known as gulf of finland this part is known as gulf of finland and this part is known as gulf of riga gulf of riga so what are the important seas here the important seas here are gulf of bothnia baltic sea gulf of finland that is this region is the gulf of finland and the gulf of riga region now the gulf of finland is between which two countries it is between country finland and estonia estonia it is between finland and estonia while the gulf of riga is between estonia and the other country here is latvia it is between estonia and latvia it's between estonia and latvia so the important seas here are north sea around england region the baltic sea region baltic sea has three fingers the topmost finger it is like a three finger the topmost finger is the gulf of bothnia one finger between the gulf of bothnia is the sea between the sweden and the finland region uske baad a uh, finland and estonia ke beech it is gulf of finland and between estonia and latvia it is the gulf of riga now what is this gulf of finland region i will rub this part so that you don't get confused so this part of is known as a gulf of finland now i will shade it this is the gulf of finland region it is between what it is between finland and estonia and estonia while the gulf of riga that is this part is between estonia and latvia estonia and latvia and then the down there is country known as lithuania do you know the interesting concept interesting fact open your atlas where is russia what is our idea of russia russia is here somewhere deep inside the asia between asia and europe that is eurasia between so russia is here but do you know there is a small territory of russia known as kleningrad in this region so look in the atlas these are the questions 
you should not miss in the examination the map based question so this is how we have studied the atlantic ocean i hope so that you will revise it and you revise it while looking at the atlas open your atlas and and look at the europe region look at the north american region look at this region again why i am stressing because this is important from the examination point of view where is the north sea located where is the baltic sea located where is gulf of bothnia gulf of riga and the gulf of gulf of finland gulf of riga how to remember what is the order of gulf of bothnia gulf of finland and the gulf of riga that is this region the gulf of riga region how to remember this remember b f and r these are in alphabetical order that means the order of a b c so in from north to south they are in alphabetical order in the alphabetical order the first comes gulf of bothnia in the north after that gulf of finland f comes in alphabetical order so beach mein after that r comes in the end so gulf of riga baltic sea and north sea have a local idea of this area remember in the north sea region the greatest fishing area is known as logar bay while near usa the greatest fishing area is known as grand banks till we meet in the another lecture i hope that you will revise your atlas in this region if you have not brought any atlas see the, there are two good atlas one is oxford and one is orient blanks one if you can i prefer oxford atlas because it has rather than the orient long span because the oceans are missing in the the special map of an ocean is missing in the in the orient black swan atlas but is given in the oxford atlas so buy your oxford atlas and till we meet again wish you very very great studies study very hard and we'll meet again so thank you very